Could it be two consecutive Friday nights of high school football? It appears we will be blessed by the weather gods and for the second straight Friday, games will be played as scheduled. Wow, there's a first for everything this season. Hello, I'm Sonny Jones of 910preps.com and the Fayetteville Observer, and here's a preview of some of Friday's games. There's a four-way tie for first place in the Patriot Conference. Surprise? Not. Uh, it was the first week of conference play. What did you expect? Terry Safford, Southview, Pine Forest, Douglas Bird were winners. E.E. E. Smith, Grays Creek, Overhills, and Westover lost. Cape Fear did not play. This week, the 910preps.com game of the week is Cape Fear at Terry Sanford, or at Reed Ross Classical School, to be precise, the home opener for the Bulldogs, if you will. Of course, the grandstands at Terry Sanford are being rebuilt, meaning football and boys soccer are using John Daskal Stadium this fall. After three road games and two wins, including a 24-21 nail-biter at E.E. E. Smith last Friday, the Bulldogs finally get the chance to play at their home away from home, if you will. And what a matchup it figures to be. Yes, we all watch the ball, but if you get a chance, watch along the offensive and defensive lines in this one. The team that controls the line of scrimmage, yes, it's a cliche, that team will have an excellent chance to win this one. They say it's what's up front that counts. That's true for this one. Cape Fear has won the last three meetings against Terry Sanford, by the way. For Southview, it was the Matthew Pemberton show last Friday. He ran for a school record 300 yards and a 42-3 win against Grays Creek. Think about that. All of the tremendous players the Tigers have had over the years, Pemberton, the first to rush for 300. Mm. Overlooked in the route was the play of the Southview defense, which controlled Grays Creek running back Jerry Garcia Jr. after a long run on his first carry. Can Bird slow down Pemberton? Tough task indeed, and the Eagles' lack of depth figures to be an issue. Bird is coming off a 36-22 win against Westover as Alton Simmons ran for four touchdowns. This series has not been as lopsided as you might expect. Southview has easily won the last two, 46-19, 44-0. The teams did not play for four years when they were in different conferences, but Douglas Bird won the five previous meetings between 2008-2012, the Eagles won them all. The closest game, 11 points. Of course, a lot, have changed. a lot has changed since then. We'll see what happens Friday at Bob Paroli Stadium. For Grays Creek, the Bears will try to bounce back against the defending Patriot Conference champs who are getting healthy. Pine Forest snapped a two-game losing streak with a 41-32 win against Overhills. UNC commit DJ Jones returned to the Trojans lineup, scored twice. Of note, the teams combined for 67 points in the first half in that game, only one touchdown in the second half. Pine Forest has won three straight against Grays Creek. E.E. E. Smith came within a whisker, a field goal actually, and losing 24-21 to to Terry Sanford. The Golden Bulls will look to snap a 16-game losing streak when they play at Overhills. Could this be the week? Watch out for Overhills quarterback Chris Perkins. He's thrown for 952 yards and 13 touchdowns in four games for the Jaguars. Of course, E.E. E. Smith can counter with Deshaun McCulloch. He leads Cumberland County quarterbacks with 867 yards passing and also has tossed 10 touchdowns. Maybe this is the week. If the defense plays like it has the past two weeks in a one-point loss to Hoke County and that three-point loss to Terry Sanford, E.E. E. Smith maybe could snap that losing streak. Slowing down Perkins will be the battle. The Sand Hills Conference has one more week before it opens conference play. Six of the eight teams do not play Friday. One that does is Jack Britt. The Buccaneers put their unbeaten record on the line at New Hanover. The Wildcats also are unbeaten and were state three AA runners up last season. Big test for Britt before it opens up Sand Hills play next Friday at home against Scotland. One other game in Cumberland County on Friday night will be at Westover. The Wolverines will be looking for their first win of the season when they host Goldsboro. To keep up with all the games, visit 910preps.com on Friday nights for our live scoreboard. And we'll have full game reports and photos late Friday night at 910preps.com. On Twitter, you can share what's happening at your game with hashtag run910. In fact, we'd appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Sonny Jones. Enjoy the games this Friday.